summertime, the SS Cuga would uh, come here from Toronto. Um, it was a boat that, that would arrive, uh, I remember, at 11 o'clock uh, in the morning. Um, myself and, and several other young guys were, were down there diving for money. Um, we would uh, call up to the, the tourists on the boat, throw your money down, folks. Um, you know, and uh, they would they would toss coins over over the side, and we would dive for them. We would dive down, pick up the coin, show it to them that we had had received it, and then put it in our mouth for uh, a three fifty in each cheek. Um, so it was it was it, they were fun times. Um, and then the boat would go to Queenston, uh, and it would turn around, and it would it would come back uh, at uh, one o'clock, and we'd we'd dive again for money. Um, people who didn't uh, believe that we were as uh, uh, good at it as, as uh, because the coin, when it goes down, it, it goes down at quite a, quite a pace. So it, um, it caused you to uh, uh, develop an anticipation of where the coin was going so you could catch it this way or that way. And, and uh, I, I got quite good at it, um, as, did, as did my friends. Um, and while we were waiting for the boat to come back from Queenston, we would go up in this uh, tree fort, which was in a huge willow tree. And it was a tree fort that we, a bunch of us got together and built. And it was up, up, in, that, up in the tree and we'd go up there and play cards. Some days I'd lose the money that I just made on the boat and some days I was uh, more successful and I would, uh, I would uh, recoup some of my friends' monies as well.